I literally want to fucking hang myself right now. No lie, I am just fucking pissed. This is my fifth time recording this video. Please, for the love of Nuda, drop a like on this video. I really hate rude kids. So there's this field in front of our school. And basically what you can do on this field is, you know, play football if your bus is in there. I try and catch one of these footballs and it slips right through my hands. When I land back on the ground, I, you know, start walking, you know, try and find somewhere else I can, you know, maybe catch the ball. This girl, wearing the most ugly ass shoes in the world, these red, like, converse looking shoes, like, bright red, like, my Pepe pic Steam picture type red, runs into me from the back at full speed. This bitch literally hit me with the force of the Sarabamba. Excuse me, but you can say, excuse me. And she just looks at me and, and just flat out says, now, before, before I get into what she actually said, I just want to remind you, this is an actual audio recording of what she said. So brace yourself, because this may get graphic. Excuse me, bitch, but I don't suppose that you're from around these parts, do ya? But I don't know how to say excuse me, okay? So if you got a problem with that, you can basically suck my dick, okay? Now, if you're gonna tell me to say excuse me one more time, I'm gonna get my fat ass brother on your ass so he can beat your ass, cause I don't fucking like you. You can go suck a fat cock. And as soon as, you know, she said that, I just went fucking off. And so I basically thought I looked at her and said, Look, bitch, I get your parents are degenerates, but you should seriously know to say please and thank you. And this asshole is running around with a fucking Najev. Now I have one, dude. Literally, she had the balls to flat out tell me, I'm too much better than you than to say, excuse me. Okay, so you can go suck a fat cock while I continue to play with all my black ghetto friends. That was really racist, I should probably cut that out. After this, you know, me flipping out on her, she basically calls her brother, she's basically like, Dante, this motherfucker trying to beat me up. So I just walk away. I avoid a fight at any means necessary. At this point in life, I was just not going to risk fighting a 200 pound black kid. Literally. That man could have sat on me, and I would have tapped out right then and there. That man could have just offered me to come to Thanksgiving dinner with him, and I would have been fucking out. Cause I'd starve to death! Am I seriously trying to get attacked while spawning? This is... BS. YOU! DIE! Kill yourself! I just walk away. I try to avoid a fight at any means necessary. Like, I am just a flat out pussy. I'm not gonna lie. I am the biggest pussy you will probably ever meet. If I have to fight, I will fight. Like, don't get it twisted, okay? Did I really just say don't get it twisted? I think that's my new saying. Don't get it twisted. I will fight if I have to fight. Okay, but I'm not going... I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll talk shit all day, I'm not gonna lie, but if I have to, like, if I get put in a situation where it's either fight or flight, let's see, can I get a one-way ticket, um, flight to, um, fucking Japan so I can get away from all these fucking assholes? And so, you know, I basically just walk away, and that's not the only time I've come face to face with rude kids either. A while back, I took a trip with one of my good friends, let's just name him Mike. Dude, I'm gonna kill that kid! Where's he at? Over there with the Najev. You can die, because I don't like you. Anyway, so, let's, yeah, we're just going to call this kid Mike. He's he's pretty rude when it comes to his parents. We went on this trip to the Steam Park, right? And his parents paid a lot of money to go on this trip. I am not exaggerating when I tell you. He complained about everything we want, like went to do. To go to, you know, watch a show, like, fucking Mickey Mouse or some shit. I don't even remember it. Like, I don't even think it was Mickey Mouse. But, like, it was some sort of, like, show they had on it. Like, one of the attractions. And his mom wanted to go watch it. And we, his mom argued for literally 30 minutes, maybe even an hour, on whether or not to watch this short film. I mean, we basically could have been done with the film by the time they were done arguing. And we would have been doing whatever we were doing. I mean, we went in to watch the film anyway, but there was technical difficulties. So we were still watching, or, like... It was, we were still in there for like an hour either way, so it was basically just a whole time wasted, you know, on a trip where we could have used that time to go on roller coasters and like these huge rides when we just, 
listened to Mike argue with his mother. I don't even think that's the only thing he argued about too. We went to a couple of Nike outlets while we were down at the amusement park, and there was a pair of LeBrons, pink breast cancer awareness LeBrons that he like wanted to get and we were gonna go to multiple nike outlets and we were going to go back his mom told him to you know just go on ahead and wait until we get to another nike outlet so he doesn't waste his money on something he might not even want i agreed i mean we can always come back because we did go to another nike outlet i'm not there wasn't anything good in the other ones but we also went back to that other nike outlet it's honestly too hazy now at this point to even try and explain what's going on like what went on during that trip but anyway guys i hope you all enjoyed if you did, don't forget to go on ahead and leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I also want to remind you guys about a giveaway being hosted by Gecko Grips. Link will be down in the description. It's going to be the first link. Go ahead and click it and possibly win a free pair of grips for doing absolutely jack shit. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.